guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing um, my February favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a very long time. Granted, I haven't filmed in a very long time. So I am just going to get into it. I'm going to be doing, doing hair, makeup, books, music, TV shows. Um, pretty much that's it. Right, that's all I can think of right now. So let's start off with hair products. Okay, the first products I have are the shampoo and conditioner that I have been using for the past a like, couple days. I haven't been using them very long. I've only used them twice to wash my hair, but I am loving them. They are the Sunkissed Lemon Blonde Highlight Shampoo and Conditioner, and they are by the brand Beauty Pure and Simple. I'm sure you guys have seen these. You've seen the, probably the blue ones. Um, they are so amazing. It is a tropical blend of brightening lemon citrus oil to enhance a shimmery to enhance shimmery sunlight highlights all year long with rich coconut oil to smooth and add shine while exotic key lime extract takes you away to a central paradise. Paradise, whatever. Um I love it because it smells like lemon and like obviously it's supposed to make your hair like blonde or like stay blonde. But it smells like lemon and it makes my hair super soft. And for the days that I don't wash my hair, which is becoming pretty often because for those of you who don't know, it's not really healthy to wash your hair every day. Um, especially once you're over like 18, 20, you know, over, once you're over puberty, you might want to stop washing your hair every day because um, the grease, like the grease or the oil is so good for your hair that it like helps your hair grow and like stay healthy. So, and I work out every day, so I get really sweaty, so I have to like blow dry my hair, and then I put in a dry shampoo. Now these are the same, pretty much the same thing, just this is a different scent. And this is the Psst, um, the True Original Dry Shampoo. This is the Instant Dry Shampoo, they're both Instant Dry Shampoo, but this one is tropical, and this one doesn't say it has anything. I don't know. I have been using this one for so long and then I went to the store the other day and I saw this one. Um, I love the packaging. It actually smells pretty good. I mean it smells like dry shampoo. I really can't do the dry shampoo smell but yeah these are my two favorite dry shampoos. And then let's just talk about this. I'm sure if you watch any YouTubers most likely Nikki tutorials. You know exactly what this is, and you're, you know exactly what I'm gonna say about it. Basically, um, I don't have a job, so I don't make a lot of money that much anymore. That much anymore. But um, I haven't been spending a lot of money on makeup like I used to, and I ran out of my favorite primer, which was my Too Faced. Uh, Hangover RX and I really like the moisturizing primers and so when I saw everyone talking about this I was like you know what I'll give it a try the only problem I have with it is it smells like a man <laughs> obviously it's Nivea Men sensitive post balm shave if I didn't say that already I don't think I did but it's really amazing my makeup stays on so much longer um, yeah, it's amazing. You do have to let it dry. Um, I have put it on and then put on makeup right after and the makeup was gone within like two hours. So you want to let this dry for at least five minutes, five, ten minutes. So I normally do this and then my eye makeup and then I go in and do the rest of my face. But it's like eight, nine bucks I believe. I don't think it's over ten dollars. It is so worth it. I definitely recommend this. And then this is like lip related, so I guess it's like makeup, not really, I don't know. Uh, this is the Aqua 4 Lip Repair. I saw Makeup by Sheila talk about this on her Snapchat, and I have been looking for a good like chapstick that will like repair my gross cracked lips, um, dry lips, and this baby is great. I actually sometimes just put my makeup on and I don't, th don't do anything with my lips and I just put this on because it's so glossy and it's amazing. It doesn't smell, um, but it's amazing. I love it. You can get this from like the drugstore. I get it from my grocery store. It's like four or five dollars. So amazing. And then for makeup, um, 
as you guys know, I have a lot of acne and I have a lot of acne scarring. Most of my face is um, acne scars, which is just so much fun. Not. Um, but I recently, okay, those of you who don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat, you wouldn't know, but I met Nicole Guerrero uh, last Monday, actually, the 22nd of February. And yeah, she is my very, like, my, like, all-time favorite YouTube beauty guru on YouTube. That's pretty much all I have to say. She's, like, the best one. And she loves the uh, L'Oreal True Match foundation. Yeah. And so I decided to try it out because all of my foundations are really, really dark from the summer, and I'm very, very pale. I am very, very pale. So I needed to go get a new one that actually matched me. Sort of. Um, I am in the color N2 Classic Ivory. Um, yes, I love it. I mean, you do have to build it up, but it doesn't look cakey, which is like the best part. So, um, and then next I have my highlighter, which is Becca Champagne Pop. I think I've talked about this before. I don't know. And I just hit pan on it today. Like you can sort nope, you can't see it, but I did. Yes. And then next is my blush. I was not ever really a big blush person um, until I got this one, and this is Max Sincere. Um, it I, don't, I really can't I don't know how to explain it, but it's like it's really good. It's really pretty. Sincere by Mac. And then for eyes, I have been loving the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This is such a gorgeous palette. If you haven't seen it before, um. It's got more uh, like sparkly shades than the just the regular Tartlet one had, but I love this. And if you need like a neutral palette, I would. And then for eyelashes, I have been loving the Salon Perfect Perfectly Glamorous uh, 615s and 614s. They are so easy to apply, and they're so like light. They're not like heavy on your like um, eyes or anything like that. Like. A lot of lashes can be. They have um, really thin bands, which I like. I can't stand the thick bands. They just don't look good or like feel nice on my lashes, on my eyes. Um, yes. The 614s are like the really, really long, wispy ones, which I love. And I can't seem to find any place that sells more than just one of them. Um, the 615s are amazing. They are like really sparse I don't know they're really pretty just like alone without any like liner or like bold shadows um, I was actually wearing them in my last video they're amazing and then next for fashion favorites I have been loving my sunglasses I just got them but they are so cute and so amazing I love them they're super dirty I don't know if you can tell but they are um, I saw um, Alexander Ah, Alexandria Garcia Gar I don't know I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about um, she did a whole like video on them and she posts she has like stuff like like something like these um, she found them off of Amazon but I found them on a website called um, zero UV um, they're about $11 no shipping so like so perfect um, they did take a while to get here, that was the only like problem I had with them, but other than that they're really amazing and I love them. And if you're looking for anything like these, I totally recommend Zero UV. They have different colors and they have like silver, pink, blue, and like all that, like amazing. I'll make sure I leave a link for this down below. And then next for, I guess like movies, well maybe not movies. Um, TV shows, books, all kinds of stuff. Um, this book I haven't gotten too far in, but it is the Kate Hudson Pretty Happy book. I love, I didn't realize I would like these kind of books, like the self-help kind of books, like, oh, how to make yourself happy. Um, healthy ways to love your body. And like I said in my last video, I'm doing some, I am changing everything, I am becoming healthier and with that I have become like very like really happy but I wanted to 
Well, first off, I love Kate Hudson. She's one of my favorite actresses. I think she, I love a lot of the movies she's in, so that's probably why. But she's like a really funny person. You should add her on Snapchat. She's really funny. Um, but it's really cool. Um, there's a lot of amazing like photog like photographs in here. Like what? Whatever. Um, but yes, this is a good book if you're wanting to learn to love yourself more, <laughs> I guess. It's a good book. And like, it's so cute. And then next for TV shows, um, I have been loving Grey's Anatomy. I'm like so scared. I don't want to like keep watching because I know everyone dies. And I'm just like, oh my god, I don't no, no, no. Okay, well, whatever. Um, but I'm on like the fourth season, I believe now. Yes, I'm on the fourth season of Grey's Anatomy. Um, I'm watching that, but when it gets too intense, um, I watch New Girl. Um, yes, I love New Girl. It's like, it's like really funny. So you should watch New Girl. That's all I can think of. Um, I guess we'll do some music favorites because I have been really getting into finding really like good music lately and not just like the stuff that you hear on like the radio like ugh. that stuff like bores me because then, then it's overplayed and then when you actually want to hear it you'll, you'll never hear it or it's just overplayed and and boring <laughs> ugh. Um, and I've been going back to old like older songs that I haven't heard in years Yes, but one of my favorite songs right now, well, it's my favorite song right now, like, hands down, favorite song right now, it is Lose It by Oh Wonder. And I will admit, a lot of the songs that I find are from Vines. I will admit, like, One Tree Hill fan account Vines. Yep, I watch those. <laughs> but a lot of the songs I do find are from, like, fan account vines and because they do really good like video edit thingies and then like the music is so good and so this is how I actually found this song and I love this song now Um, that's a good song. This is another good one. Um, I'll Be Good by James Young. That's all I have on my recently added one, so I'm not gonna go um, in further. But um, that's it, you guys. Yeah. Um, let me know if you guys like these favorites videos more than you like um, like makeup tutorials. Um, Cause I'll do more of these, cause these are easier to film than makeup tutorials are right now for me. But yeah, I will leave everything that I pretty much talked about that I said I would leave down below. Like the glasses, just the glasses I think I said. Um, and then I'll leave all the names if you didn't catch the names of everything down below as well. And I will be leaving my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat down below if you guys want to add me. You totally can. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys. Mm -hmm.